What's up, Marvel fans? This is Stan Series, and in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to the new trailer for Love and Thunder. So, I got this pop RC notified last night, which when I was lying in bed again, I was, <laughs> well, I was like, I ain't getting up for this, I'm going to do it in the morning, which is now. And I've been really looking forward to this, really. I mean, I'm pretty sure that hopefully that Gore's in this. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm hoping he is. But um, after from the last trailer, which it was amazing, good how they did that, I'm hoping this one then be more action-packed. Maybe give us some, some action-packed. But that's the bit I'm expecting. And <clears throat> like I said, I'm hoping Gore's in this. And I think maybe they can clarify a bit if he is the symbiote or, you know, and... I don't know what else to spend. Maybe a lot of action from James. So, volume's up and everything. So, let's have a watch, shall we? Kids, get the popcorn now. Let me tell you hmm. the story of the space Viking, Thor Odinson. Hmm. He was no ordinary man. He was a god. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no, he did not. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. What's it been like? Three, four years? Eight years, seven months, and six days. Hmm. <laughs> the only ones who gods care about oh. is themselves. Oh. So this is my vow. Oh. All gods will die. Oh. oh. Here they go. I was that was very, very impressive what you did back there. Hmm. Oh. Whoa! Ooh! Oh! Ooh! This! Oh! Wow, that was uh, interesting, that was. And, oh, interesting seeing from Ghoul, the God Butcher. No clarified still about the, um, the the symbiote type of thing, but I'll take that from now. I can, I'll take that for now. I mean, I'm expecting that they'll, they'll tell us when, when the film's out that if it is those symbiotes or they're just going to do it something different. But trailer-wise, that was pretty cool. I mean, action from Jane. Obviously, see, um, he's seen her in, a, in obviously the armor, which is pretty cool. In the helmet as well, but amazing. But starting off with this, let's break it down on what went down then. So, obviously, we start off with the big tree we got from the last trailer, but it obviously went for his meditating. And in the distance, you can see there's two people obviously walking up to him, like hard to make out, but one from the back looks sort of looks like walking, I'd say, from the from the shape. Well. I would believe it's Rocket. Um, the one in front, I'm not pretty sure what that one is, but um, I don't know, I've got a feeling, I don't know if that's, if that's Nebo or obviously Stolor, but it's very hard to tell in the distance like that, but I think I might be right on those two, but who knows. Then we jump to Korg, obviously now wearing his new stuff. Looks like he's speaking to a tribe and obviously telling the story about Thor, which gets to a funny montage, like seeing Thor obviously from Last Trader taking that well, I would say it's like a clock thing off to reveal itself in battle where the Guardians are. Then this is cool. Obviously, seeing Thor, obviously, doing his thing with his hammer. Then the part with him on the ship with the Guardians, getting that jacket that um, 
look, no arms kind of jacket, which the um, obviously uniform wise they cut well they coined him in the figure. It's Ravager four, so obviously he's got that unif- He's wearing he's got that uniform ready for battle. We get another glimpse, obviously, of a um, new two new Asgard. So just like what we saw in the trailer, I mean, we got we got boats. We've got um. The town's obviously evolved more since then to look, to sort of, like I said in the last trailer, it looks like they're trying to go back to, well, they're trying to make the new Asgard to look like Asgard, well, in a, sort of in a way. They ain't going to have that big palace up thing and all that, but I don't know. Oh, I mean, in the future they might do, but... And obviously we noticed that it might beca- it must have become like a, a holiday place then, because obviously with all the ships and everything, so they must have became a destination for a vacation. Obviously, we can see the flying ship that obviously Thor and the gang are going to be travelling on. Then we see with Thor's classic move of slap, slamming the hammer down and changing to his um, obviously hero stuff. And Cork's there. And if you look at the background, it does look like that... Uh, it does seem like more that... This is... They are back at Sakaar. So, obviously, with the trash and everything. And then we can see the two goats. Um, I'm, I'm still... Ha- I have heard their names, but... Oh, my, I might put the I might put their names down the um, obviously down the, the comp the description bit. Then obviously um, with Cork's hand, obviously he's mentioned about him getting fit again. So we got uh, obviously seeing more of the montage. One when he's like doing jumping jacks, and then we got him like pulling a chain. But obviously he's put he's uh, pulling the guardian ship. So <laughs> come he's using that thing to get obviously to do to get to shape. Then we cut obviously to New Asgard when they're, they're in that battle, obviously, what we saw from the end of the last trailer. Like I said, we, we still don't know about the creatures yet, but I am still hoping they are symbiotes. I'm, not, I'm hoping. Now, this part's really cool. Obviously, Thor, he says, uh, he sees the hammer and he's like, oh, yes, finally, I'm going to wear it again. It's cool. It's like, it's about to get to him, but then it's like, nope, I ain't going to you, man. I am going to her. And that's so cool. Seeing her in that. Even Cork, even he's got. Even when you hear Cork, he's like, "Oh, okay." Now this caught me a surprise. After that, we got four wearing, an, obviously the the new headpiece. Which, oh, why? Right, that was interesting. I mean, I'm like, okay. I mean, I've got nothing against the helmet. I mean, I've had some people they've been saying, "Hey, I keen on the help Thor's new helmet and all that," but I didn't expect we'd never show it off in a trailer. But they are here. But obviously, Thor's in shock and goes like, "Jane." Which um, we we see her with her helmet off, and between them we can see a, like a building on fire, and it collapses a bit. So I'm like, "Ooh, this is awkward." <laughs> now, obviously, cut into the Marvel logo. It's cool that we got the stage lights like coming onto the Marvel logo. Well, it's cool, cool. Here we can see like we can see Valkyrie's horse, obviously flying horse. Looks like okay, that that thing behind him is like there's a portal or something like that. But then obviously we see um, Thor with Korg and obviously Thor telling him that, uh, oh, that's my ex, that is. And then obviously we see Jane coming down and obviously all in Thor, obviously with uniform. This part's amazing when Jane's saying about, oh, it's been like three, it's been like three years, isn't it, and all that. <laughs> Thor are going like, oh, eight, all that. <laughs> but it seems like they're okay then. I mean, I thought... Well, in my mind, I thought maybe they might, be have, they might have a funny uh, moment with one another. You know, like, they wouldn't get along first or they wouldn't be happy to see each other. But, well, I mean, maybe she's peed off of him. I mean, maybe she actually is peed off of him. But, I don't know. I mean, I think they're keeping that safe for the film. And then, obviously, we get some glimpses of New Ascot. Um, not New Ascot, uh, Olympics. <clears throat> when, obviously, uh, Valkyrie even bringing this up to four, saying about, you know, Jane. So... She can tell that Thor still has something for her. And then obviously, with Valkyrie as well, I just want to say her, her new uniform looks amazing, you know, looks cool. But here, that's it, like she's saying, obviously we can see Thor nest with Jane, obviously on their boat, and obviously he's looking at her, so it's like, yeah, he's still got things for her. But I love him, he's just going like, what? <laughs> you know, that kind of thing, but I'm like, nah, come on Thor, you still love her. Which I'd say, he's, he obviously does. But Valkyrie can notice it. Then we jump to Gore. Now we can see the sword, and then we see his hands grabbing it. So, And he looks like the sword's coming out of something, so it has to be um, the Necro sword. I mean, if it's doing that. 
But and then we could see some weird thingies, like blacky things. So, yeah, I mean, like I said, it's hard to tell if they are actually symbiotes, but <clears throat> but it does look like it. But the look of Gore, oh, he looks menacing. He does. I mean, sure, obviously he's got the look like he has in the in the figure, but I think he looks better. Like, there's a bit of improvements from the figure. Like, sure, I'm still disappointed that he had comic book accurate look. You know, with the, um, he's got these long ear things and all that. But, and obviously the, um, the clock, like the cape and the clock thing is all black. But, I don't know. Like, I would, I'll be surprised if by the end of the film, like, he transforms into that kind of look. But, we'll just have the way to see. And then obviously we see um, one of the gods, obviously, who, actually, this is poured from the comic, this is. Obviously with that big creature. And obviously we're hearing Gore saying about, obviously, I, I will kill all the gods. And then we can hear, we see, like, Gore does actually look a bit different here. So, he ain't got, like, the, the scratches and all that. Like, he does, like we, could, we saw on the figure. So, I don't know if is that a thing he could do. Like, he could change his look or something like that. Or, or it's just, like... Or are we gonna get a flashback scene? Yeah, or is, I mean, or is this before he gets the sword? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I know in the comics it's mainly like that Gore's been around for a long, long time, obviously with the weapon, obviously killing gods, but I don't know for the MCU timeline, like, are they gonna say that he's been killing gods for a long time, or are they just gonna say he's been killing them, like, maybe say, oh, he started doing it when the five years happened? Well, I don't know, I mean, they haven't really gave on that yet. Oh, as I know of. Then we get a bit where obviously the game, they're just about to get off and ready for Pussy's ham. Obviously, he's Stormbreaker down. Obviously, they get to use the Bifrost power. The two girls, obviously, then ready. And then they fly off, obviously, to do Olympus. Obviously, we got a bit with Thor's talking to Jane about the battle, saying, well, how you manage that out there. And then we do get a bit of a fight with her, obviously, her fighting some Olympians. And this is cool. We see how the hammer works, like. So, like, about the... Because we noticed from one of the figures, it's like the hammer can break into pieces. So, and, it looks, and that looks cool, that does. So, it's going to be interesting to see, um, you know, how much she's mastered with the weapon. Because cause I'm still going to be surprised. Yeah, you know, I'm still expecting that we're going to learn that, oh, she's been Mighty Thor for quite some time. I still hope that it's, it's they work with that. Obviously, if Thor brings up saying about the, um, you know, being your first bad guy and all that. Or, or it was Jane, but... And what looking at her with a helmet, man, looks pretty cool. Now, here with Gore. Oh, my God. He looks scary there, he does. He's got, like, his eyes are glowing orange, and he's got, his teeth are completely black. And I don't know. And I think that's supposed to be, like, the gooey black things, like, coming to him. That's what it looks like. Then we see him placing his sword down, which... It looks like a moon. Like, it's like a rocky planet, so... And then doing that, it's like a bunch of lightning lights coming out of it. So he's doing, obviously he's triggered something there. Then obviously we cut back to obviously forward Jane with Korg and obviously Valkyrie in obviously Olympus. Then we see obviously more glimpse of Olympus. And now it does, conf uh, it does show us Russell Crowe as Zeus. So we'll get to that in a sec. See, four active, obviously, using his lightning, which it's got to be on that same rocky planet then. Obviously, they're fighting Gore. We got that, uh, yeah, I believe that's, is that Valkyrie? Yeah, Valkyrie using one of the Olympia's weapons, fighting Gore on that, on the rock. Then, obviously, it looks like they decide, at one point, it looks like they decide to use their flying sh uh, bolt to crash through the one part of the Olympus. So, I'd say so, so something. Because you can see Jane fighting him as well, obviously, that bit I was on about. So, something must have happened. Four, obviously, taking some on. Wearing some weird uh, clo Olympian clothes, really, with blue. And really taking on the gods of them. Gore, obviously, mentioning about killing the god. And, oh my god, I mean, close up, he does actually look like, ooh, he's someone you don't want to mess with. We see Drax and Nebula, obviously, fight using their weapons and firing, with Nebula's going, ah! <laughs> that looks cool. Obviously, we can see Jane and Thor, obviously, with their little, with their pinkies holding each other. So, maybe that might be the point when they start to realise they still love each other. I don't know. I think it is. And Gore is like, he's like, he must be staring at them. And he does this. And I'm like, 
Okay, so he's like, he re- he's like, I'm gonna kill you. And then Foyce is like, bring it on, bitch. <laughs> and then here we could see the uh, Jane, obviously with no with no mirror, hand placing it over and looks, and then obviously the lightning comes to her. So ho ho. But the trailer doesn't really um, one that the trailer doesn't really tell us. Of, but I would say them keeping that for the film is. They ain't really give us clues in this trailer, like if, uh, yes, Jane's got the cancer and all that, but I'm pretty sure that's been, uh, they're not going to show, I'm not showing that in the advertising. I think that's more like, we're saving that for the film. So, but I mean, I have heard the cancer is in it, well, as last I heard, but it'll be interesting to know if it is. Obviously, back now, the last shot, the, this is like funny. We got obviously now seeing Russell Crowe's Zeus, and he says that, and obviously he got four, like, He's got him like, I don't want to say chain up, it's more like whatever that, ele- the Olympia's kind of electric kind of chaining kind of thing. And obviously Thor's wearing like a blue, obviously hood, uh, cloak and all that. And I love it, even though it's like, let's reveal who you are, show yourself and all that. And the next thing, the claws are gone, and then behind, they blow out his butt, so he's plying around, and Korg's like, whoa! And even, <laughs> Korg's like, whoa! Even Valkyrie's like, uh, what? Even Jane's going like, like, looking, looking around the, co- and then Thor is like, reveal too much you have. And then all the women, they fainted. So, I think Thor's got a big, um, big private, a big bit he does. I think he's is big. I wonder why those women, and not just the women, I just noticed. The, even the um, guy playing the instrument, and then another guy fainted. <laughs> But was it was Zeus? He's holding it together like what? And Jane just talk, talking to Valkyrie. What? Hang on. What was it she said? I I gotta play that bit. What was it that Jane was saying to Valkyrie? Hang on. Shall we help them eventually? Grape. <laughs> That's like she said, yeah. But I love how Valkyrie Valkyrie just goes like grape to Jane. So he's like, uh. Oh. Right, and that's pretty cool. Interesting. So far, it looks like I oh, don't see Jane and Valkyrie have a good friendship. They do. I mean, from there, it's like oh, looks like they might get a good fe- uh, friendship bonding in this um, film. I mean, or I mean, we know that Valkyrie's looking for a new king, you know, a love interest, but but I don't know. Ja- but I don't think Jane's like turned to. I was well. I don't know, I mean, I'd be surprised if she, since after four, she might have decided to date women, but, I don't know, I think it's more like, I think Jane is still going to get back with four, or, if not, then I'll be surprised if she gets with Valkyrie, but, we'll just have to wait and see. But then, to finish the trailer, obviously, four, obviously, prepare to jump it up in the air and attack some goons. This must be early in the film, obviously, because he's got the Vadiger suit, Vadiger, the Vadiger four uniform on. And then it cuts to there. That's the trailer done. So, really good trailer. Um, good to see we finally get to see Gore. Um, like I said, I think it's really good they didn't show off a lot of him. Like, maybe with those things he's got with him. So, keeps gives us a mystery if they are symbiotes or not. But, like I said, I'm hoping they are. Because, I mean, if we just had a cameo from Venom from Spider-Man, obviously. Well, even though I know that wasn't the MCU's one, but... Had a little piece of him left behind. Surely that might tell us that, oh, that thing will bump into Peter Parker and we'll learn eventually that, oh, there are actual symbiotes in the MCU. So I think that was a hint to tell us that, yes, there are actually symbiotes in this MCU and maybe that little piece will have a mind link with them and then obviously try to jump to Spider Man. But we'll just have to wait and see. So I, if, um, that's all from this. So if you want to see this trailer for yourself, I will leave the link down in the description below. Um, leave a comments down below. What do you think of this? I mean, are you looking forward to this film now? What now? What do you think of Gore now? I mean, have you changed your mind or have you still got that? Uh, I don't like the look still and all that. But I mean, I'm so far I've been hearing about. He sounds like he's gonna be the greatest Marvel villain as I've heard. I don't know if they used the word greatest or best, but I, uh, I mean, he's gonna be going around killing gods. So. That's going to be pretty big. But I'm hoping, like, there'd be a chance he survives in this film so he can come back down the line. But I think he's going to be just one of those um, one-and-done villains, you know. But we'll just have to wait and see. 
Uh, also, give this video a thumbs up if you like the video. Um, share this out to your friends. So, if they're new to this, uh, well, really, if they want to watch someone different for a change, show them one of my videos. And if they like it, they can subscribe to this channel. And this is what I do, really. I mainly do the Marvel and Transformers Cinematic Universe news. That goes with the trailers, the Super Bowl TV spots. Clips, if I'm in the mood for it or not. Well, I always say, but <laughs> as it come around. And then the sport reviews, but obviously when it comes to more like the trailers, when it's like a week away for the film, the, I, as I like to call them like spoilery kind of ones, I tend to avoid those because I want to be surprised when I watch it. And I think that's that bit. So, and the last one to finish off, if you want to see my last more video, click here, my channel. Make sure you click the bell, it's going to be notified when new videos will. And here to see my last Transformers video. So that's all for today, guys. So I hope you enjoy this reaction and breakdown video of the four Love and Fun 